How's it going guys? This is Wes. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my thoughts on creativity, where creativity comes from, where I think inspiration comes from, and along the way I'm going to be showing this process video of uh, me working on a piece called Variant Spaces. Uh, this started off as a traditional piece and then I, I have a traditional version of this, but then I also have a color digital version, which is very different. And so um, I'm going to have a link in this video uh, to, the, to the prints where it is that you can find them. Um, but I, I made this piece because I've been thinking a lot lately about the imagination and where ideas come from. And I'm really struck by this idea that I came across from this book called Reality Transurfing. And the idea is, is that there's this thing called the variant space. And within the variant space, all of infinity is held. Everything it is that could happen exists in this variant space as a potentiality. And what we do when we imagine something is, is that we are essentially selecting that particular variant um, in order to bring it into this world in order for it to, to manifest and be experienced in this physical world. I thought this was a very interesting idea because it's it's a on the one hand very counterintuitive because it draws into question what is the imagination what are we doing whenever we imagine things you know our society tells us that uh, the imagination is nothing you know it's um, you know we we have all these these sayings in our society uh, you know oh it's just your imagination you're just imagining things you're just seeing things in your in your imagination but we don't really know what that what that process actually is because the same place it is that you're having these imaginal experiences inside of yourself and seeing imagery and hearing sounds this same space is where ideas come from that are completely practical and have transformed the way it is that we live life. I mean, you look at uh, Nikola Tesla, for example, and Tesla would often talk about that he would sit down and meditate and go into actual experiences inside of his imagination where he would find the inventions that he would make and they would already be there. They would already be there and they would already be complete. And all he had to do was discover the idea and then figure out how to translate that into the physical space that we live in. Which really brings up something interesting about creativity which is that it has nothing to do with us. Uh, these ideas it is that we have for paintings or for music or books or inventions, they really have a mind of their own. They have a, they have a maybe mind is too strong of a word, but they're, they're more like a force of nature. The way that gravity is a force, the way, um, the way that electricity is a force and it's more something that is trying to express itself and it's expressing its momentum in the world through us individually and this can happen both in positive ways as well as negative ways all we have to do is look at the world that we live in now and we see that we never lived in a world of physical things we've always lived in a world of beliefs opinions ideas 
and these ideas now can spread like wildfire. Somebody can have an idea and it can get, uh, you know, halfway around the world within a moment's notice. So what's, what's interesting is, is that that implies that if everything exists in this variant space and we can travel into this variant space and we can, we can experience things there, then that is implying that we're not actually creating anything. These things exist as potentialities outside of our own minds and all we're doing is we're just tuning in to that particular frequency. This to me I think is a huge relief if you're somebody who does something creative. Because you take the burden of performance off of yourself. In the Bible it says that creation is complete. And I guess that's what this this what this means, and and that's what I was trying to illustrate with this image. Um, there's another quote in the Bible uh, that says something along the lines of, "In my Father's mansion there are many rooms, and when I when I go there I will prepare a place for you." Something along those lines. I'm, I'm not a biblical scholar, so I really can't. I really can't quote it off the top of my head, but the idea is, is very interesting. You know, um, it's almost like the variant space is all of these different rooms. And in any of these rooms, there's maybe another version of yourself. A version of yourself that uh, married a different person. A version of yourself who lived in a different country. A version of yourself that was very successful with your art and in each one of those rooms everything it is that is needed to experience that version of yourself is already in that room and how do you know that well because creation is complete so if you want to experience that version of yourself you move into that space through faith, through stepping into that and imagining yourself as already being that person. And all of the places, the circumstance, circumstances, the people, all of the synchronicities, all the things that need to happen in order for that room to exist will already be there. And that was my that was my idea behind doing this painting and this this drawing. I've I've been really inspired by by this book Reality Transurfing and by another author named Neville Goddard. And if if this resonates with you on any level, then I would recommend checking both of these guys out. You can find their stuff on YouTube and, and really just consider what it is that they're saying. Because I know what I'm saying in this video sounds crazy and it sounds very counterintuitive. Um, and I'm, I'm going to continue to make videos talking about this because I feel like this is the biggest inspiration for me as, as far as being an artist. Because I've I've spent so much of my time over this last year trying to understand what it is that these guys mean whenever they say that imagination is reality. You know, when people say imagination is reality, what does that mean? Well, it means that the variant space is really the reality. It's the it's the thing that's eternal. The variant space is eternal. Everything comes from this variant space, all the ideas and the paintings, and we ourselves, we come from the variant space. Um, and we come into this realm, and we experience this physical manifestation of this realm. But ultimately, everything in this world passes. 
but existence in and of itself, the, the variant space that generates everything it is that we experience, everything that comes and passes, that waxes and wanes in this world, the, the variant space still exists and it's always existed and it will never not exist. So nothing really dies. We don't really go anywhere. We come here to have this moment of time to experience and to create the things it is that, that we wanted to experience because it makes us greater beings at the end of the day. We become a greater version of ourselves through this experience of, of living in this world and dealing with the things that are going on here. And I, I don't think that we realize how much these ideas have have their own energy to them. They have their own power. And uh, that power can be used for good or for bad. So if you would like to you, if you would like to hear more of this sort of talk, um, I'm going to leave some links to some videos that I like in the description box below. And uh, if you like this painting here, if this resonates with you and you would like to check out the limited edition prints and the open edition prints that I have in the description box, uh, you can check out my store. I'll be having some limited edition, some open edition, and I'll have the original ink drawing available for purchase on my website. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Take care. Thank you. Real quick before I close the video out, I also want to thank my friend Tommy who uh, has his own website where he does music and he's, uh, he's an artist as well. He does like woodcrafting and, and ink illustrations and things like that. And uh, he was nice enough to let me use some of his music for this video. And so I've included his links in the description box below as well. And thank you guys.